All right, so in today's video, we are going to be going over how to create kids clip art specifically for birthday invitations. And obviously you can use these for other invitations, but you definitely want to stay to the end so I can give you all my tips and tricks on how I come up with the ideas for kids birthday invitation clip art to putting them together, to upscaling them, and all of the things that you want to look at when you're actually designing kids' clip art using AI. Today, we're going to use ChatGPT DAO E4, right, 4.0 version, which is the paid version. So if you want to go ahead and stay to the end, I suggest that you do, and let's go. All right, so first and foremost, you're looking at a clip art design right? And there's many, many more. So there's a bunch of different PNG style clip art for kids invitations, right? So these are so cute, adorable. They are really nice for a kid's first birthday. So a lot of times you always see little girls in pink tutus. So I wanted to change it up and just change up the colors, right? So that's why you see here we have a green tutu and we are going to go to google so if you don't have any inspiration on what it is that you want to create or you just want to see what's on the market right so it's good to know what's on the market you're going to go to google and type in kids tutu invitation and when you type in those kids invitations you're going to see a variety of different options that you have right you can head over to images and when you click on images you'll just see a bunch of different images of what other creators and designers have been creating as it pertains to tutu sometimes you'll see ballerina sometimes you'll see tutu so they can be used interchangeable so you can go through get some inspo get some insight and come up with your own unique ideas but it's just good to know like this is definitely in demand people love to celebrate their children especially when the baby turns one right so these are nice cute digital invitations that you can send out you can also print them out as well so you can give the option uh to your customer if you're going to be selling these but you can certainly design these for yourself for personal use as well if you know somebody that has a birthday coming up you could practice with them so forth and so on but this gives you a lot of great ideas and insight of different things that you can do so the first thing that i want to do is before we actually start designing the prompts i want to go ahead and go over to chat gpt for it and obviously like i said i'm using chat gpt 4.0 which is the paid version because i like to turn my prompts into images and i use d-a-l-l-e dolly and if you go to explore gpts and you search for dolly which is an image creator you'll be able to add this in to your chat gpt and you'll just go ahead and search for d-a-l-l dash e like i said and it'll come up but before we actually get into that what i like to do is for all the people that just need some inspo we could do um create 10 clip art items for a kids tutu invitation right so just in case if you want to know what actual other clip art items can go on a kids tutu invitation it's going to give you a bunch of different things right so you have a skirt you have slippers a crown a magic wand a bow confetti balloon butterfly the number so forth and so on right so these are all awesome because you can add these as different elements as different graphics on the actual invitation when you're giving it to someone or if someone's going to create it because in this video today we are going to actually just create the clip art that people can use for the invitation now if you want to see a video of me actually using this clip art or designing clip art using an invitation and how it all comes together let me know below in the comments and i'll certainly put that together for you so we have so many different items so now i'm gonna head back over to the kids tutus just to see what's on the market so as you can see there's already a lot of different items on here so you do see uh dresses tutus you see a bunch of different things already 
on the market, which is good, right? Crowns, tiaras, confetti. So you see a lot of that already here, which is a good sign, right? It's a good sign that these are in demand, right? These actual elements. And you can come up with your own creative designs as well, which is going to be awesome. So I'm just looking around just to see what's already on the market and just matching it up to see what we have here. So now if you want to like do a brand board, we could say create a image based off the clip art items using African American Tyler, right? So we'll just do African-American toddler because it'll create an image using a clip art. Well, that's what it's supposed to do. Sometimes it does, it doesn't. So it did in this case, which is beautiful. So I love to do this because this kind of gives you like a brand board idea of the different things that you actually can create, right? So this is a very beautiful uh, brand board and I love it, right? The design is nice. Everything is nice. And you can actually like create all of these images just from this and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that as well so now i'm going to say create individual prompts based on let's spell individual right based on let's see based on the clip art, right? So now it's supposed to break out each one, right, into prompts. So this is going to actually give me the prompts, which is good, and it does, right? So a delicate butterfly with rings, pastel blue, black, blue, pink, and lavender, I believe. Yep, so all of that should be good. I think this is a cupcake. Let's see. Um, I don't know if it actually has the cupcake in here, but fairy wings, all of the above. So you can actually create all of these different things, right? You could ask it to, oh, I love this. This is like the number one with the bow, with the candle on it. So this is beautiful. So now we're going to go over to Dolly and we're going to actually start to create these different images. Now, I am going to use some of the prompts that I already created and I'm just going to copy and paste, you know, some of them inside of here. So if we head over here, I do have some prompts because I like to create, I want to have it highly detailed watercolor illustra illustration, right? So we're going to go ahead. The first thing I want to do is actually create the image for the female, right? So We'll create this and it'll be a little bit different because what we'll do is this is actually a full body. So we'll want to get a full body of this if we can as well. And then let's just say create a prompt based on the image, the African-American girl in the picture above and let's see if it'll give us a prompt but i do have some prompts already but just showing you how to do it okay so here is a actual all right so they gave a lot of extra stuff like as far as like the um the background and all of that so we don't need all of that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually copy this and I'm going to change it out just a tad bit. So now we're going to go over here. And I'm just going to copy this. But I am going to change it out because I want to create a highly detailed. And let's just see what the language is. Detail and watercolor illustration. And watercolor. And what you see is these are different uh, camera angles and, you know, just different things that the AI Dolly tool will give you if you want to use it. You have aspect ratio, obviously, right? You see watercolor. So watercolor is very popular. I like watercolor. Watercolor is very friendly in the clip art industry. So I do do a lot of watercolor, but you can do 
realistic. You can do digital illustration, all of the above. So for this case, we're going to do a highly detailed and watercolor whimsical illustration featuring an African-American toddler with soft curly black hair, right? She's going to be wearing a pastel colored tutu skirt in shades of pink. Let's do different shades. So let's do shades of, let's see what color. I need like to do like a color wheel. So like just kind of pick out different colors. So let's do shades of purple, right? So we're going to do purple with matching ballet slippers. So we have a crown. She's holding a star. And then we could take out the scene, right? Because we don't really need the scene. Um... But we can say she has glittery fairy wings. And what is it that, because I think this is a dress. Okay, yeah, so a frilly pastel colored tutu skirt with, the, with matching ballet slippers and tank top. All right, so we could do a tank top, and I'm going to say she has glittery fairy wings. One attached to her tank top. Let's see if it'll come out the right way. Right, and we could take out the rest of it. So the background is always going to be white, right? Because... It's just easier to take out the background. So made a few adjustments to the prompt, right? You always want to make the adjustments to the prompt based on what you want it to look like, what you want it to be. So based on like the vision that you have. So this is beautiful. I love it. And, and also I want to be able to add like the white edges so the hair is not cut off. So I'm going to see if doing that is it, it's going to change it, but I love it already. It came out really good. So I'm going to go ahead and regenerate, even though I like both of the pictures that it did generate. I always like to regenerate. And again, you just click on those double circle buttons to be able to regenerate. And I love it. So the reason why I put it in highly detailed is because it just gives the features a little bit more pop, as you can see. And I'm going to see, once I change this, I'm going to make sure... I'm going to say the background is plain white with white edges because I'm going to see if this makes a difference in not cutting off the top of the head. So a lot of times you'll see in the image, it'll cut off like in this one is not cut off. So we're going to make sure to see if this actually works. Sometimes I also say like full screen. So it kind of like just pulls it out full screen. But let's see. All right, it didn't really work too well. So a lot of times you have to just kind of play around with it, but it's all good because there's ways around it as well to do that. So I love this, right? And you'll just go ahead um, and download, right? You'll download, you'll click the download button, right? You'll click this drop down arrow here. You can also click in inside of the image, right? When you click in, you'll actually see the prompt that, uh, chat GPT actually use right you could copy this so you'll just go ahead and download all of these images so that's basically what I'm doing I'm just hitting a download button just to download it but I love the way these images came out and the reason why I want to download these is because I'm going to add these inside of Canva right so I'm going to go ahead and open up a new Canva and when I do that, I'm going to put this in 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. I mean, 3,000 by 3,000 pixels just because I like to use that size when I'm actually doing the design. So let me go back so you don't miss it. So if you go ahead to custom size, you'll go to the width and the height. And this will make it into like a square. You'll create a new design, right? And we'll go ahead and upload those images that were downloaded. Now, on here, you can see I have my... Uh, print bleed and bleed on I can actually turn that off because I'm not really printing anything or designing like an invitation or something to where I need to see that so I don't really need it 
So now I'm going to upload the files, right? We're going to upload these files, right? So here they are here. And we have them all here. So now once they're downloaded, I'm just going to drag them in, right? We'll just drag them inside. And then I'll show you um, after we finish dragging them in how to remove the background. And we could actually select them, right? to drag these in and it just makes it easier well it just dragged in the wrong one so let's make sure we got these right all right so we got those now we need to add this one then we should have a total of six and then we need to add in one more which will be this one Right, so now I always stretch it all the way out. Background remover. Things that you want to take a look at. You want to make sure, obviously, that the fingers are right. A lot of times the, thing, the AI will mess up fingers and feet the most, right? So that is what you have to look out for. Obviously, like I said, sometimes it will cut off the hair. Uh, but that's not too, too big. But as you can see here, it's only like three fingers in this picture, right? Now here you can kind of get away with it because it looks like it might be bent over a little bit, but I never actually use the ones with, you know, that doesn't have all the fingers. So I always check to make sure. And the way you do that is just by zooming in on the picture. So now I'm just removing the background. So the reason why you do a white background is because it's so much easier to make it transparent, right? And it doesn't leave any of the nasty marks in between when you do it like that okay so now we're just making it full page right because again these are designs that you'll be using to give to someone else to use so i always make them transparent right and these look good all right so and this is what i mean by it cut off at the top a little bit as you can see you can't really tell <clears throat> unless you zoom all the way in but it just cut off just a tad bit as you can see at the top of the picture but these look really well obviously you want to count the fingers like i said you could also one thing i like um that helps with making the fingers better is when you actually you know tell it to give you detailed fingers inside of the prompt so you can add like you know she has you know beautiful fingernail polish glittery fingernail polish or you know a solid color so we'll go back in and change that so here if you have the pro version you can hit edit and when you hit edit you could go ahead to magic expand and sometimes you could get the hair added in now you want to do this before you remove the background because sometimes it comes out a little funky when you don't so we have that here so we'll do the whole page and then we'll hit magic expand. So it'll give you a black background, obviously, because it's transparent. So you can see the different areas that it's expanding. The reason why I'm expanding is just because I want to add a little bit more to the top of the hair. So what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to pick up, you know, some of the actual image inside of here and expand it. But sometimes it just doesn't come out right, as you can see. Um, but there's other ways around it as well. So I'm just showing you this for an example. But this is a way that you can kind of get around it. And it's still uploading to actually give her some extra here at the top. And once we'll do that, as you can see, it's still buffering. We'll be able to remove the background again because it just widens. What the AI is doing is pretty much adding extra features based on the image to the actual design right so that's what it'll do so if here if i remove the background you'll see that the background should be removed and her hair is not right so that's why you want to do it actually before the background is taken out just because a lot of times it'll come out a lot better when it's not in a transparent background versus when it is so we could do whole page yeah so we could go ahead and do whole page. We'll magic expand it. And hopefully 
it'll come out better this time around. So what it'll do is it should add a little bit of the top of the hair to make it curly. If not, there's, like I said, there's other ways around it. But as you can see, you just click on it. It just added just little pieces of hair, as you can see right here at the top. And then if you look at the bottom piece, it has some hair right here. And if you look here, it has some hair. So you want to get the one that matches closely to it, which I like this one the best. So I'm going to click done. And now you can see that the hair is actually added to the top, right? So it doesn't look as bad. And then now we'll just remove the background. Because now once we have the hair added, we could just go ahead and remove the background. And now the hair is added to the top and we are good to go, right? So that is the first set of images that you can give. And these are beautiful for clip art right for kids invitations these are beautiful images so let me know if you like the way these images are coming out and now we need to go ahead and get the rest right we need to start working on the rest of them so we have a skirt right we have a whole bunch of different things to actually do right we have ballet slippers so we'll go back here and we'll just keep the theme the same so what i like to do is i like to just go ahead and copy in the prompt and then I use part of the original prompt, right? Because we'll make we'll keep it the same, right? And then now we're just adding of a, a lot of copy and pasting of a purple pastel. So, oh, hold on. We're going to do pastel colored shades of purple, right? And then lavender. And then let's see what's already in here. So it's kind of like a blue. So we'll do like a. On a plain white background. So we could leave it like this. Right. And now you'll just start to create the clip art that will go on the invitations. Now, remember you are going to be able to sell this clip art or use it for yourself for invitations like this so as you can see there's tutus here there's ballerina slippers so there's all different types of things so these are cut off right so i do not want to use these because the edges are cut off so again when you're doing these you want to make sure um plain white background and i'm going to say like do not cut off edges so that's what i'm going to make in my next prompt because it is cutting off the edges and i don't like that cut off edges um and then we're gonna say the on a plain white background and we're gonna say only now when you put it in quote quotation marks it just kind of emphasizes it it's supposed to pick it up but obviously ai is not perfect um and you could say white edges do not cut off white edges but just change it up a little bit you could also talk to the prompt and let it know exactly what it is that you want to do so this is not good right these are not good at all so again, we're going to continue to do it until it gets it right. So sometimes it's not perfect. Like I said, you have to do it a couple of times and it'll get better and better. So these are pretty good. So we could use these. So I like these, right? And now we'll move on to the next one. So now we'll do the shoes, right? The ballerina shoes we could do next. So I have to refresh so it could show up. So we have to refresh. Sometimes you have to refresh, right? So now we're going to do, let's do the tiara, right? So let's do the tiara because we had the skirt and then we'll do the ballet slippers. And again, like I said, a lot of copy and paste in. And then I just take the front of it. You'll change the colors to make it what you want it to be. But this makes it so much easier and also it's good because you have the the actual prompts of what chat gpt creates so it makes it create it better right um the country fit for the the shimmering effect and i'm gonna say 
should be on a plain white background only with and we'll just leave it at that right so we'll go ahead and put the quotes around it so and let's make sure it's going to be purple princess crown sierra with matching let's do matching colorful gems and let's see what we get so now we're just basically creating all the clip art that we're going to be able to give so we can go ahead and start to create a set right and now that you have them you can save these right and i typically do not like it when it's a transparent background because it it creates a color around it when you do it so you definitely never want to really save it or use it when it's transparent like that picture because it will create a funny gray shape once you actually remove it so these here and we'll do full picture so let's go ahead and redo this again and let's do full picture oh and then let's do purple let's do pastel color purple right let's do that um full screen no let's not do um full screen let's say do not cut off edges of image right and let's do the pastel so that way it can match a little bit better it's not bad because it doesn't have to be the perfect purple, but you could also have it matching, but you just want it to be as close to your, you know, you want it to go together, right? You want it to go together with the actual image that you created. So as you can see, this looks a lot better because it's more of a pastel color. And also you see, it says, do not cut off edges of the image. So the image is not cut off, which I like because again, you don't want the image to cut off because you don't want to have to actually have to manipulate the image if you don't have to, like we had to do in the beginning. So this one, not too perfect, but this one is just perfect. No back, no um, edges cut off. Same thing with here. So we could just save those, right? And then next, we'll go ahead again. We have to refresh. We'll go ahead and do the ballet slippers. And let's just make sure we keep it pastel color because that one seems to match better so we'll do the ballet slippers right again we'll copy this and then we'll create we'll copy the top so this is why it makes it easier right it's just a whole lot of copy and paste it but you move faster you move faster and then of glossy swing all right, and then I'm going to delete this, and then I'm going to add the ending of this sentence here, and then I'm going to add in pastel, right? Pastel color, because that's what we want it to be, should be in a pastel color, soft purple. All right, so we're going to change the colors again because we want to make sure that it matches. The set matches. You want the set to match. You want the theme to match. So we want it to be as close as possible. So this is perfect. Nothing is cut off. And again, you can regenerate here. So I always like to regenerate just so I can have multiple options of different designs. So we'll do that. And then maybe next we'll do some balloons. So this is actually in a frame, which is kind of cute because you can use this for like your mock-ups when you're displaying it. So you don't have to get rid of that and you can use this. So now we'll do some balloons. So let's see how the balloons come out. So, and then we can make that our last one and then we'll add the rest of these inside of Canvas. So this one is going to be a balloon. Uh, a pastel color purple balloon right so we'll do purple purple balloon the balloon should be a soft purple shade 
with a shine with a slight shine okay perfect so and now again like i said we're just gonna take the top of this a lot of copy and paste so if you are following along all you're basically doing is copy and pasting right exactly what it is here inside of it and you're changing up the words right the colors so if you want to do blue if you want to do green if you want to do um yellow you would just change it to make it match what you want it to be obviously you use your own you know prompts that you want and these are cute so these are purple you could also do a group of balloons right so we'll do another prompt just to show um so make it multiple right so Let's just go ahead and copy this again. Okay, so now we gotta wait. So while we wait, we'll go ahead and add this into the design. So again, this is on grid view, so you could just click these four squares here and we'll go back in and we'll add in the newest elements that we have, right? So now we're just going in, we're gonna remove the background on a lot of these and then we're just selecting them right so we're just selecting these and we'll bring them in right and it's going to give us a nice look because we'll be able to add these in now like i said you could select these and add them all in at the same time with the white box that's showing up so i'm just showing you both options that work right depending on what type of device you want you could do it one by one and in these i want to show you how to actually hopefully the expand version can work to expand these out so i always like to expand it as much as possible as much as i can before i actually use the magic expand so we'll go over to edit like i said and we'll use the expand but what I probably would do is just regenerate the actual tutu. So that way we don't have to, you know, do all of this extra work. Just make sure you're saying like, do not cut off the edges of the image. I mean, that tends to work most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let's see. So it doesn't really help with, and it might be because it's already too expanded. So might have to just and it looks like it already did it so i'm gonna delete this out and we'll add another one so now we're gonna do this one here so we'll just leave a little bit of room so that way it can expand it a little bit better um and we'll do the whole page again and then we'll do magic expand so now once we do that we'll be able to see what we get so now we're just going to wait for it to do that and let's see if it'll expand it a little bit better yeah so it expanded it a little bit better but as you can see it's still kind of cut off but you know it'll work for now so we'll go ahead and remove that and we'll just zoom in so you can see like it picked up the edges a little bit but better over here but it's still cut off so you can just adjust this obviously if you have photoshop skills or different skills like that you can certainly add on the actual tutu design and do it like that but this is how the actual set is looking so far which is looking really good and now you just want to remove the background now obviously if you don't have the canva pro version which you'll know because it'll have a crown next to the end so anything inside of canva with a crown you have to have the pro version if you don't you could you can use free background remover sites i think remove bg is another one and what i want to say is when you're doing this you want to make sure that you upscale your images which i have up bigjpg.com you know you can go ahead and upscale your images inside of there as well right so let's just go ahead and we could take an image because it'll take some time but basically what you'll do is you'll select the image that you want to actually upscale and it'll upscale it for you so you can do it so we'll do um let's do this one here 
So we'll do more than one, right? Just to show you. So we'll do that. And then we'll do, uh, let's just do the purple heart. So you can upscale it while it's actually, I always like to do four, well, you can only do four times in the actual free version, but they do have a uh, paid version as well to actually for artwork or photo. So a lot of times when you change this, it'll kind of change the features of it a little bit um, just to make it more detailed, more realistic. But like I said, the prompt that you see highly detailed will give it a lot more detail inside the image. So this does take, take a while to upload. So we'll, we'll just go back over. But this is how the set is actually looking. So here, uh, let's see, this one... It kind of didn't do it right because the background, it removed the background of it, but it'll work if you're putting it on a white invitation. It's almost like see-through the ballerina shoes, but it did the same thing for this one as well. So again, like I said, it'll work for a white invitation background. And here's the image. Now, the good thing about this is that you can actually copy this, right? You can move this in so these are some of the tips and tricks right that i'm going to show you and you can actually erase this out if you want to and i'm going to show you how to do that so if you go to edit again this is for the canva pro version which is why it's so good to have the canva pro version because you can just do everything all inside of canva so when you're in here you can take this brush right and you can just erase that now it will erase for you and now you don't have to worry about that purple heart now you could crop it out as well but the easiest thing to do is actually to erase it now there are free erase tools online as well that you can do you can just google that so now the pink heart is gone and now i can actually just duplicate this right so i can duplicate this design and i can make it into a design that i want it to be in right and i could do the clip art like that right so let's move this down some so and then we'll bring this to the front right so we'll position this to come to the front so now it'll be over each other and you could position this to the front right and then what i like to do is i want to go ahead and select all of it and then i group it and now you can make it smaller but listen this is how you can turn this design into this as well and now you could, this could be a set that you can use. You could duplicate this, right? You can make as many heart shapes as you want, but you can take a collection of the different balloons and put them together, right? So if I wanted to do the same thing for this, I could, and then I could also add, right, this to here. I can add these together and again, I always like to bring it in as much as I can, right, without cutting off the sheet. But you could also make these together. Now you would go, I, you know, you can erase this out. Again, it's super easy to use the erase tool. Super easy to have it all in one. And now you would just erase it. So you erase that and now you have it erased and you can start to build a collection of clip art together. And you could do this with all the clip art that you have. You can add it to the ballet shoes, a bunch of different things. Because if you look in some of the designs, which I'm going to go back to, but let's position this to the front, right? So we can have that here. But if you look at some of the invitations, you'll see like some of the actual tutus have uh hangers on them some of them have like a number attached to them so there's different ways that you could do it right you have elements with balloons attached to the ballerina so you could add a lot of that stuff inside of it so if you wanted to do that as well you could right so if i was to duplicate this and let's just say i wanted to add this to her hand i could certainly do that right now we want to position it. Mm, let's see. If we do it one time. No, it'll go back too far. So what you'll do is you'll zoom in some to make sure that it fits in her hand, right? And it looks like she's holding it inside of her hand, right? So you'll do that. 
Now you can make it as big or as small as you want and you could duplicate this, but this could turn into a whole nother design, right? You could just make these smaller. And obviously we want it to look like it's, oh, they deleted it. All right, here it is. So we want to make sure that these, you know, are on top of each other, which is going to be a good thing because once we're able to make sure they're on top of each other, now it looks like the balloons are in multiple sets with one another, right? Which is good. So now that we have both of these, again, we could go ahead and group this together. So that way we can move it around freely, right? So now... You can move this around freely. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. But now you've actually turned this design into this clip art set, which is awesome, which is why I love clip art because you can do so many different things with it. And you could just adjust this, right, for her hands. But, like, this looks really good, right? It looks like she's holding the balloons. Again, like I said, so this is actually a tutu set for her, right? And actually, I would... You know move this down just a little bit but yeah so those match perfectly with her outfit and now we change those into those and you have so many different things that you can actually design and create with this so we have now a three set you can add a tiara on the balloon so many different creative things to do so we wanted to add this on top of the balloon we could so these are just some of the tips that i have for you to make your designs actually stand out right and we'll position this we'll send it to the back because we just want it to look like it's positioned on top of the actual balloon we want to make it smaller so we can actually see it And then it looks like a little shadow, right, is behind it. But again, now you're able to group this together. And now you actually have a balloon with a crown on it. Now, keep in mind when you're doing this, when you size it, because you have something grouped on it, you just want to be careful to make sure that you're not messing up the design, right? So all you'll do is ungroup it and you'll just you know, zoom out, but you don't need to do that. This actually works. So if you want to look at it in full size, here's how it looks, right? So it looks good. And you can certainly use this inside of your invitation. So if you like this video and you want to see how these designs actually come together when in the invitation, let me know below. But here is how you actually create a clip art set. And you can add as many images as you want. I recommend at least having between 15 to 30 clip art images, all different, right? That you can use different types of styles that individuals can use or yourself if you're going to print it out. That makes sense to create a kids tutu invitation if you like what you see don't forget to comment share like and subscribe share this out to a hundred or even thousands of people thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one don't forget to join our free master class if you want to learn more on how to do this step by step and how you can actually make money from this be sure to click the links below and also stay tuned comment share like and subscribe